Right now, let's take a look at today's severe threat area. A lot of people potentially could be impacted. Wherever you see the red on the map, that's where we could see severe weather. In the purple, that is a higher risk for severe weather, and that does include Chicago. We're talking over 65 million people that need to get ready for some dangerous weather. In fact, Paul, you have a look at some of the risk areas. That's right. In fact, we do have a tornado watch issued until 9 o'clock tonight. Take a look at this uh, graphic here and notice where it says PDS. That means particularly dangerous situation. Now, normally a tornado watch means we could see tornadoes form from thunderstorms in and around this area. It, it's a chance. The PDS means this is likely. Intense tornadoes are likely in this area, in and around this area. We're talking portions of Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Illinois, Chicago, Milwaukee, and Minneapolis. You're not in this area, but you're close enough to also be impacted, especially points east of here, because as storms form, as they're doing now in Iowa, they will roll eastward and they could pack quite a punch. Kelly? And Paul, right now we want to go in depth about this storm system with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. And Greg, let's first of all talk about all the ingredients that could lead to the severe weather. Yeah, and Kelly, I think the main ingredient is going to be a very strong surface low and a very strong warm or stationary front that will be the focus for these storms. And we can see that here in our exclusive wind stream graphic, surface lows spinning there in northeast parts of Iowa. The stationary or warm front uh, right along the Wisconsin Illinois border now and then down into the Michigan Indiana border. It's trying actually to jump into southern Michigan. So I've done some alterations. I've raised Torcon to Indiana and now southern Michigan to five uh, as well and raised Torcon a little bit for southern Wisconsin. Most of this is in the cooler flow. There could be some storms that are down away from the front, but I'm thinking the tornado threat is highest right along that front where there's the biggest shifting of the winds. What we have not had thus far has been a derecho. It tried to start overnight in Iowa, but you saw the big thunderstorm cluster dissipated. So we still have all of this area of Illinois, Indiana, and southern Michigan that did not get the very heavy rain. Uh, and so it's still in game now for additional storms this afternoon. Out ahead of that low and along that stationary front, northeast parts of Iowa, we're beginning to get the potential for storms to form now. There's a little bit of warm air aloft that is inhibiting the storms. It's a situation that when they go, they're likely to explode. There's a tremendous amount of potential energy that is built up there. And a trigger that's up in the Minnesota area, some of its south flanks will graze into this somewhat capped area. Even behind that, there's another upper air feature that will give some severe weather today and tomorrow in the northern and high plains as well. The main threat going to be out ahead of that surface low in Iowa along the frontal zone. We've given a greatest risk here in purple. Uh, that means some long-lived tornadoes as well as some big widespread wind damage could occur there. I've given a Torcon of six for that Iowa, Illinois, northern Illinois region, and I've raised it now to five for northern parts of uh, Indiana and southern parts of Michigan. And the severe threat might get later on this evening by 10 o'clock all the way down into south central Pennsylvania, maybe just to the west of Washington, D.C. As we get into the overnight hours, some ongoing in the high plains and ongoing and continuing east across uh, parts of Indiana. The overnight after 10 p.m. or so, probably the Torcon will be four, but we might get the storms that will roll all the way past Washington, D.C., down into the eastern shores of Maryland. As we head into tomorrow, the low that today is in Iowa will probably be near Cleveland, Ohio, with that warm front near Baltimore or Dover, Delaware. Again, a very moist air out ahead of that and uh, winds aloft that are still relatively fast. So we'll have some turning of the winds with height, especially in a deep layer, and with that warm front and a low pressure there, we'll have uh, a chance for tornadoes in the mid-Atlantic, some severe all the way from southern New Jersey, southern Pennsylvania, down into the Gulf Coast states. That next weather system, parts of Montana and Wyoming, still uh, some severe threat, but the greatest tornado threat as I see it tomorrow, Maryland, northern parts of Virginia and Delaware, where you'll have that warm front similar to what we have today, Kelly, mm -hmm. as well as um, uh, a low pressure that will be adding some rotation to the air.